Sometimes we can get distracted by singers flashing skin and possessing awesome dance moves to actually listen to how well they sing. It seems like the more flash they have, the worse their voices are. From lip-syncing scandals to horrible recorded live performances, these are 10 famous singers who have terrible voices. Ashley Simpson when your voice is so bad that you can't even sing live for a studio audience, it's time to rethink your singing career. When it comes to Ashley Simpson's singing career, she didn't really have much of a choice after her SNL lip-syncing scandal. When she was performing live on the TV show, the music she was singing started doing a loop instead of continuing to the second song. Of course, she wasn't the first entertainer to use a voiceover track, but she became the scapegoat, and her career never really recovered. Jason Derulo It may be unpopular opinion, but we are sorry to say it, Jason Derulo can't sing. Yes, he has tons of hits and legions of fans, but he doesn't have a great singing voice. Derulo relies heavily on autotune, which is used to make an artist's voice sound computerized. He has stated that he can in fact sing, but many fans leave his live shows disappointed with his inability to carry an actual tune. Britney Spears Yet another performer who rarely sings at her concerts and live appearances is Britney Spears. She has never been known for having a truly captivating voice, but she sure is entertaining. The singer has made a career out of singing with autotune and using a voiceover track while performing. Spears has been able to use her controversy and sex appeal to stay relevant, despite her lack of having an actually talented singing voice. David Lee Roth being the frontman for one of the biggest bands in the 80s, Van Halen, you would think David Lee Roth would be able to sing. But without the band, he sounds like an actual nut job. When isolated vocal tracks of Roth singing Running With The Devil were released, it was laughably horrible. The singer is just howling out of tune and in parts he uses a kazoo for no apparent reason. The track is so bad that the only way it could sound almost decent is to add it to electric guitar riffs. Kesha Have you ever noticed that pop star Kesha never actually sings in any of her songs? She is more of a talk singer because she never really belts out any notes. She can't even talk in tune as she is always using auto-tune on all of her tracks. Though she may not really be a singer, her songs are always well-produced and catchy. Sadly, Kesha's legal battles with her label had kept her from releasing new content of her sing-talking to the masses. Kanye West Yes, Kanye West may be a musical genius, according to himself, but the guy doesn't have any vocal talent. Fans found out the hard way when he decided to try his hand at singing Queen's Bohemian Rhapsody during a live concert. Kanye quickly realized that he couldn't hit the crazy high notes and pointed the mic to the crowd every time they came up. The performance was so bad that recordings of it went viral on YouTube. Madonna you may have to blame it on her age, but after nearly four decades in the spotlight, Madonna can still carry a tune, but nothing like she used to. Though she works hard and is a brilliant performer, Madge has started using vocal tracks during performances to cover her aging voice. We understand everyone needs a break every now and then, but when you are a musical icon, we would expect better from you. At the end of the day, she will always be a legend, even if she can't sing like she used to. Robin Thicke Because of a lawsuit, Robin Thicke's career may have been over before it could really ever take off. This might be a good thing because the masses would eventually find out the singer has a terrible singing voice. There are many people who believe that Thicke sounds too whiny in his tracks. They say that he seems like he wants to go up a note, but he lacks the talent or the voice to do so. Selena Gomez Though she is used to bearing it all on stage, wearing next to nothing, Selena Gomez wouldn't dare to bear her voice outside the music studio. The young singer rarely sings live, and when she does, it can be a total disaster. When she appeared on Children in Need, singing Same Old Love in 2015, Twitter was set ablaze with criticism. Gomez was so out of tune that fans told her to stick to her acting career and claimed she sounded like she was in the middle of an exorcism. Steve Harwell 
The lead singer of Smash Mouth, Steve Harwell, is known for his fun lyrics and the band is known for their upbeat songs. But without the music, Harwell is like a lost puppy dog. He literally sounds like a cartoon version of himself. The singer has released a track called It's Days Like These without the band's accompaniment and it's shockingly awkward to hear. The track almost sounds like someone doing a parody of the singer because he doesn't sing. He sounds like he is just shouting at you. There isn't even another recording of the song with music to compare it to. Are you a fan of any of these performers? Do you agree that their voices leave something to be desired? Leave us a comment down below, be sure to give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe for daily videos you don't want to miss. Thanks for watching.